It's 10.28, our train is at 10.35. I am 100% certain we are gonna miss our train today. Look at the line. Halfway to Xi'an by now. Instead, we're sitting at McDonald's at the Shendu East Railway Station. <laughs> we managed to get new tickets though. They didn't cost anything, but they are standing tickets. We don't have a seat, so it could be interesting. We're not really sure what to expect. After we missed the train, which we only missed by like three two, minutes. Yeah, two or three minutes. We got there and they wouldn't let us onto the platform. I'm pretty sure the train was still here. They'd stop people boarding, I guess. We went to the ticket office. <laughs> explained that we needed a new ticket. These tickets were free. I think we got downgraded. So we were in second class, we're now standing. Yeah. It does take four and a bit hours. It could I guess be it interesting. Is, it is 800 kilometers. Could be a long way. Yeah. The current plan, I think, is to try and be first on the train, ditch yeah. our luggage in a luggage rack, and then go to a restaurant, see if we can get a seat there, and just hang out in there for the duration of the trip. So a quick travel tip for you guys. If you are traveling on a train in China, don't show up 15 minutes beforehand, especially if you still need to get your tickets printed at the ticket office. Yeah. There will be 500,000 other people there waiting yeah. to do the exact same thing and you will miss your train. Alrighty, see you on the train. We are literally standing. Yeah, we're not sure what we thought they meant when they said standing tickets. Oh, I knew they meant standing. Yeah. Did you not think that we were actually going to be standing? No, well, I was hoping there'd be a seat. So we're in carriage four. It looks like it's second class. I think the idea is there's like one or two other people standing that when the train takes off, seats are just up for grabs. We're about two and a half hours in. It's been a long two hours standing, sitting on the floor. <laughs> Crouching in a little ball, yeah. like behind all the seats. Yeah, have my like my knees up to my chest the whole time. <laughs> it's but not yeah. been very comfy, but we did manage to swindle some seats, so that yeah. is a bonus. So we're just hoping that no one comes to sit here for the rest of the trip. <laughs> now that we're sitting down. I think it's time for some train facts. Or not some train facts, just some fun facts. Travel fun facts. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, it's 823 kilometers from Shendu to Xi'an. If you were to walk, it would take you eight days straight. Like 24 hours a day for eight days straight. The walking obviously wasn't an option. That was not an option. <laughs> If we were going to get the bus, catch a bus, which we're not interested in given our last bus experience, it would have taken 20 hours. Again, it's pretty long. It's pretty long, not really interested. Uh -uh. I think if you were to drive, it would take 10 hours, yeah, 8 hours, like 8 yeah. to 10 hours, depending on, I guess, depending on how fast you drive. <laughs> and traffic, non stopping. Yeah, that's true. And it's China, so who knows yeah. what's gonna happen. So that's why we ended up choosing to go on the bullet train, because the bullet train only takes four hours. It only costs 50 bucks. Exactly, and when you compare that to flying, yeah. which takes about three, three to five hours, give or take transfers, this is actually the best option. And cheaper. And cheaper. Far cheaper. Way cheaper. And quicker. Yeah. And amazing, because now we have seats. And look at our view. Seriously. 